So as you may have noticed from our social media post, we are traveling Route 66. Route 66 was the first national road in the United States. It went from Chicago all the way out to Los Angeles, over 2,400 miles. It went through eight states. It was the major highway to get people out, out west. It was known as the Mother Road. Because it was the first road. Mm -hmm. Now, we started our journey on Route 66 in Oklahoma City, and that's where we're gonna start at today. Enjoy. And guys, we met up with our friends at Territory Route 66 RV Park and Campgrounds. Believe it or not, it's a Boondockers Welcome location. So the donation that you give for this park is only $15 a night. And let me tell you, it's a great location and a great place to stay. This is Pony Bridge. The bridge itself is a historical bridge and it's over a mile long. We rode our bikes down to it while we were waiting on our friends. Also, we found abandoned places. It's a old gas station and then also a little hotel back here in the background. And you know I like my graveyards. I love reading old gravestones. This was also on the way on our bike ride. There were gravestones in this graveyard from the 1800s, so it was a really interesting place to see. On the way into Oklahoma City, we were able to stop by El Reno. It was Are you ready to get your kicks on Route 66? This is the beginning of our Route 66 trip with our friends, and we're so super excited. Glad y'all can join us. Let's do it. El Reno. It was the first town we came to, and it was such a great find. Now, as we were at a pocket park where the big Route 66 sign is, a photo op, the mayor of the town happened to be driving by. We saw him whip in, and we said, who's this guy? And he was such an ambassador of his city. He told us so much about uh, the area, and and he told us about how the photo op area came about. And it was just a wonderful time just sitting there talking to him. We would suggest stopping in to El Reno and grabbing a burger, uh, seeing the murals, and just visiting the Route 66 area. You saw a lot of buildings that were around during the 30s, 40s, and 50s. It's just great to see. As we got into Oklahoma City, we decided to stop at one of their city parks. It's called Route 66 uh, Park. Now, the unique thing about this park is they have a painting on the concrete of the entire Route 66, along with unique things for you to see along the way. It was just a really cool thing. Glad we stopped there. Next on our stop was Pop Soda Shop, home of the world's largest soda pop bottle. It's located in Arcadia, Oklahoma. And let me tell you, it is a cool thing to see. They say that if you really want to see something cool, to see this at nighttime. Also in the store, if you can think of a flavor of soda pop that you would like to try, let me tell you, they have it. They have more flavors than I could ever have imagined. I ended up with the typical orange. While in Arcadia, we stopped at the Round Barn, right there on Route 66. It is the most photographed building along the entire Route 66. It was built in 1898 by a local farmer, William Harrison Oder. He soaked the wood in water while it was still green wood and therefore he was able to make the round shape of his barn. The roof did collapse in 1988 and the local artisans and workers rebuilt the structure. It was rebuilt in 1992. While we were in Arcadia, we ran across a historical building that was once a gas station. The thing is, at one point in time, I'm not for sure of the years, but they actually count, made counterfeit $10 bills in the back of the gas station and then passed them off to unsuspecting customers.
Another really cute town was Bethany, Oklahoma. They had so many really adorable murals. Don't miss these. So one of the things that we did that took us off Route 66 was we went downtown and went to see the site of the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. If you don't remember it, it happened back in 1995. Um, you can find all kinds of stuff about it online, but it was just a very nice memorial and really made you stop and think and be thankful for your blessings. If you don't know, 168 people died at the Oklahoma City bombing. A lot of them were children because there was a daycare in the bottom of the building that was bombed. and. Um, there is a chair for each of the victims that died in the bomb and it was just really incredible to be able to see it so we hope you have enjoyed the oklahoma area on route 66. what we learned on this trip is if you're ever going up and you're going to the soda pop place that big tall 66 foot soda pop it was just amazing but let me tell you Go in the store, get you a pop, do not eat there. That was the worst hamburger I ever had in my entire life, and I'll just be honest with y'all and say that. So, that was the only one and only time we've eaten there, but uh, they, they have thousands of soda pops uh, that you might want to pick up, but it might have just been a bad day for them, but you've been know. warned. You've been <laughs> warned, yeah. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.